Good morning, guys. Today is Thursday, April 16th, and it's such a pretty day today. I decided to come outside on the front porch for a different background, different setting for you all. And today we want to focus on employee communications during the time of COVID. At Commonwealth Public Relations, we often handle crisis communications for clients. And so during this time of COVID, we're in a crisis and we've had a lot of clients and other businesses ask us how they should effectively be communicating with their employees during this time. So I want to focus on three different tips or topics that can be helpful for you. So before we get into those, I do want to say that no senior leader or CEO has ever been faulted for over communicating to their employees or their staff during a time of crisis. Please keep that in mind. So I wanna focus on three topics today. First, your communications channels. Most companies have a lot of different ways that they can communicate with their employees internally. An intranet or even company email database. Utilize those to communicate what's happening and have those messages come from senior leaders or even the CEO. Also, thinking about your communications channels, School systems have had to use robocalls to communicate with parents and teachers who are in rural settings and don't have access to the internet. A robocall system could be an effective way to communicate with employees right now as well. And then secondly, virtual meetings. So use Zoom or Microsoft Teams as one of your communications channels. It allows you to see the face of your employees, but it also allows them to see the face of you, the CEO, or your senior leadership as they answer questions and take questions from the staff. The second piece about communications with employees that I want to cover has to do with being clear and concise. During this time of COVID or with any crisis situation, you need to make sure that the facts are straight and that they're communicated precisely and simply. You also need to focus on what's happening now with the company and what's happening in the future. Of course, with COVID, we don't know what's going to happen in the future, but we need to start thinking about post-COVID and how we're going to get back to work. And that might be an opportunity to work in the fact that your company is making plans for the next step once things get freed up and we're able to go back to work and get back to normal. I think also things that need to be communicated is what's happening now. So senior leadership and especially the CEO, you're working behind the scenes from your employees to make sure that you survive this time so that you can bring people back to work if they've been furloughed or laid off. So I think it's important that you take some time to communicate what's being done now. So now let's focus on the third point, how often. So during this time, I think it's important that senior leadership or CEOs communicate at least weekly with their staff through one of those communications channels that we mentioned uh, in, the, in the number one point. Your staff and your employees want to hear from you during this time. This is all about leadership. They're looking to you as the leader of the company for confidence and to know that you are guiding them through this time and that they're gonna receive a paycheck, that they're gonna be brought back to work, that you're making plans for the next step that needs to take to survival of the company. So they wanna hear from you. Make sure you communicate often and frequently.